if Purdy wins the Super Bowl, I, th- I mean, I, he's not playing bad. That's he's not thing. playing bad. It's just we don't understand how to compliment him without going overboard. We can't say he played really good without saying he played great and he was the reason. But then it's like you can't say he played terrible because he didn't. He played good. I thought he, I thought he made some dope throws. I loved his ability though to extend with his legs at he, times. He did it last week. Yeah. Too. Even, just, even when things weren't going good, he came up with the game winning drive. Yeah, I think it's just one of those questions where um, I forgot who I heard say this, and they were talking about basically like everybody talks about how much they love Brock Purdy, how great Brock Purdy is, and how he's an MVP and this and that. And it's like, okay, would you pay him the hundred plus million dollar contract today? And now when you do that, and we take away this stuff because that's what comes with those contracts, is Brock still? the force multiplier is he a force multiplier what's the dynamic or do you only love him because he's cheap in using the tools that are equipped for him right now it's a great question because we never thought about it with josh allen we never thought about it with lamar jacks we never thought about with joe burrow we never thought about it with justin herbert but with brock purdy it's like okay do you love him the way that because if you're saying that he's up here with these guys and we're saying that he's just as nice as these guys. We're saying that he's winning more than some of these guys. Okay, well, why don't you go ahead and pay him like matter. these guys? And I think that's where we're going to find out if he's really like how people claim he is. Well, once he crosses over into those contracts, okay, well, now you got to be able to still deliver like we talk about a Josh Allen. We, like we talk about a Lamar Jackson. Like we talk about a Joe Burrow. Like when we're looking at a Justin Herbert, heck, think about how we looked at Jalen Hurts this year. That's the part for me where I'm like, all right, we're going to find out if he's truly the way that people praise him and say that he is. That's going to be one of the big deciding factors in it. If I'm him, now it's it's tough to say when it's not my money, but. <laughs> Deke said, don't, don't embarrass yourself. Just take a little less. <laughs> no, nah, I was going to say, yeah, I'll like honestly, do the Tom I'll, Brady I'll, approach. That's what I'm saying, bro. like help the yourself winning, out. The winning over time just trumps it all. Like, right. help I, I don't care out. what any of you guys say. Like, we're help just out here out. winning games. Help yourself out. Now, for Brady, it was a difference because he had Giselle at the time. But I'm with you, bro. You can do the take all the money, and now we're looking at you like, why can't you still be the force then, multiplier? Then you could also look like a good guy and say, like, look, I'm look, taking the pay cut. This hey, is I'm a leader, team. man. I'm doing it for the squad. Yeah. Was, you're going to get more people to want to come in there and play with you. Other guys on your team would take similar approaches if the head guy is doing that. Regardless of if we know you ain't nicer to him, he nicer to you, da 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 da. It's like, bro, that's the quarterback. We know he could easily get the most because he plays quarterback. At some point, your resume yeah. could start trumping all of that, though. No, I 100. I agree with you. Now, I also agree with you that it's a lot easier for us to say because it's not our money, and he's living in California. So I think that also adds to it as well. You know, that seven eight hundred thousand he get out there don't hit the same way as when it's out in Pittsburgh. Sure, and that's a fact. That's a fact. But that was a disaster of a game, huh? Yeah, yeah. Absolute disaster. Yeah. The big story is the field goals and it was you going had, forward you had three and not pl- taking the three. A three it was a three play sequence, bro. Well even the he, they lost the timeouts at the end. Too. I say I say three plays, bro. The field goal decision, okay? The fumble on on their own backed up and then that dropped interception that turned into a fifty yard bomb yeah. of the one. Them three, them plays right there changed the whole sequence. The fumble and the bomb was back to back 14 points. And then you go ahead and do that aggressiveness and don't get it. It's like, bro, you killed yourself. Well, it was two field goals. Too. That's, it yeah, one. it was one, it was two. That would have been like yeah. 48, 49 yarders. Dude. Right. Dude. Part of it, though, if like watching some of Dan Campbell stuff this season, that is his MO. He is ultra aggressive. He is one of those guys that he's not going to second guess it. He is going to go. And he believes in his team. And we talked about it when they lost to Dallas. And it was like, yo, you went for it four times in a row after they jipped you two times. And you still got lucky on the third one with the flag. And it's like, yo, you're still going for it. Like, kick the field goal, bro. But that's. Yeah, the one was to that's tie it is. up. Like, just yeah. tie the game up, bro. That's, like, what that's you, who he what is. What are you trying though. to accomplish here? Because like, even if you get it, you might still have to. Yeah, kick you still got to kick the field anyway. goal later. You're right. Potentially, if you if you can't get it yeah. on four downs on your next set of downs. Yeah. To me, you I just have to thought, kick it anyway. I just thought that that's. I thought that he said to himself, I'm going to live or die in this game being me. And I thought first half, everything worked out. I just thought in the second half, when they had that 
little three four sequence in the third quarter they got tight and i thought san fran the same way kansas city in the second half looked like they've been in these games been in these moments before it just looked like san francisco was more comfortable in those big moments in detroit i thought they got tight bro and if it's your first time being in the moments it happens we did it we got up there. It was like, we had some injuries, but we got tight. It's like, yo, you start feeling that moment. You start seeing Brady. And Check that. And you're like, bro, all right, it's happening. And then you start to hear that. You start listening to yourself. Oh, shoot. They doing it again. They doing it. You don't think them Detroit Lions start. Dang, bro. They didn't score it again. Dang, bro. How they catch that pass? Dang. All right. Now Debo's doing what? All right. We're about to get a sack. Brock Prady and ran for 30 yards. Like what? And it just start feeling like everything is going their way. And before you know it, that three score lead. Then it turned into a two score, then it turned into a one score, and it turned into they didn't got the lead. And once they took the lead, bro, I just felt like for Detroit, man, you could just feel like, yeah, they started looking up like, all right, bro, it's over. With all that being said, they did still have a, a chance, chance at the end. They still had a chance, they're man. They're down 10, they're driving. Still had a you chance. You have your three timeouts. The yep. one thing you can't be giving up is Talk one of those timeouts. It. Talk about it, man. Like, honestly, if I was them, at, at, yeah. a, at a certain point, I would have just said, like, hey, let's kick this field just goal go right now and, kick and it. have it be, like, you know, a minute 30, a minute 40 they left. Have our three timeouts, the, it would, stop them, and then mm-hmm. we have a chance for, a, like, yeah. a one-minute drive, like, yeah. last-ditch ever, try to score a touchdown that way. And the timeout at the time is just, like, why? Yeah. Well, yeah, they called the run. I, I don't like the call to run the ball there that's hindsight's them, 2020 that's them though because you are trying to like catch them yeah. off guard they're not expecting you to run that's them though bro uh but at the same time it's like dude that's that's the that's one them. thing you can't do if you're gonna do the run you have to get you back up score. to the line yeah. like immediately yeah or, or but you couldn't no, get no, you actually would have had to you gotta score bro you they won score. forward on fourth anyway. I was going to say, yeah. you got to have your field goal team right. run out there. It's one or the it. other. Seriously. Keep your three timeouts, yeah. and then your kickoff, maybe you, it's like 35, yeah. 40 seconds left. But like you're putting yourself time, in a bind, bro. To, the time is your worst enemy. At that. I, I would have yeah. just kicked it from the 20. And, well, like, and we've talked about that timeouts. new strategy now, too, when you're in that scenario where you got to score and get a field goal. Time is more important than trying to force the Because you know what the 49ers are going to do, or at least force them to – yeah. Make a pass to get one of those first down. You you just assume they're going to run it three times. Right. So at you that, just, at you that, that it, juncture right. of the game. You need so your, you time have your three off, man. timeouts, and then yep. you have a one minute drive yep. to try to score a touchdown. Now nah, we're on the same page. Yeah. Crazy. But I actually blame the players more. I'm listening. Because there were there were terrible drops. Josh Reynolds had those I'm terrible you. drops. You had Gibbs so, with the fumble. So, uh, and then Saint, the, I remember Ross St. Brown dropped one too. I thought he had one uh, across the, Gibbs, not not Gibbs. Williams, the one hit him in the low key. It, but I don't think I, I didn't look at him as he should catch that. I was just like, Yo, yeah, it did hit you. That yeah, was a, it was. It, uh, yeah, I actually <laughs> it was the players bro. more. Yeah. Campbell did him no favors because I think he botched some of those situations. But still, yeah. the players just catch the ball and don't fumble, and it's a the dude hand. catches the pick off his helmet. Think about that, bro. A pick, a fumble. We're, we're not talking about a, these field goals. We talking about it's Campbell about to be they about to be up thirty to seven. Think about it. if they don't fumble, they are marching be thirty to seven. Or if you catch that pick. 24 to 7, 24 to 10. Like, but that's the other part, man. In those games, you don't get a do over. Like I said, man, it's one of the worst feelings when you're watching that confetti come down and you're just like, bro, we blew it. That's all you keep saying yourself, yo, we blew it. And you never know when you're going to get another opportunity to get back to it. And you, you know, I talk about our story all the time, man. We tried to, you know, come right back. We end up getting a two seed and we still end up stubborn our toe against the Jaguars, man. There is no guarantee that you'll ever get them chances again. And that's why when we talk about just, how precise you got to be in those moments, both mentally and physically, and you got to have the good luck of health. It's like, man, a lot has to go right in them games, but that's also why I never go crazy on these cats in them games when they lose because it's like, man, those are still great teams. All four of those teams that we watch play are great teams. Those are the final four, the final best four teams in the NFL, man, that are still playing, right? So it's like, to an extent, you know, everybody ain't going to win this thing. Somebody going to come up short, but yeah, it just, like I said, for one of the teams that lose, you're like, bro, you got to learn from it. Man, we can't make the mistakes. I'm sure for Detroit, they're over there saying themselves, man, we can't be fumbling the ball. I'm sure my man that dropped the pick, he's like, bro, he going to be on the jugs machine all offseason because whatever you did wrong in that game, you obsess over all offseason. So he's going to be over here trying to catch every single pick every single day this offseason. Anybody that dropped the pass in the game, that's just how it goes, man. Or at least it should from our experiences. 
Well, that's what Dan Campbell said after the yeah, game. Bro. He's like, I I'm not even going to act like. Seriously, bro. Uh, this is just a good stepping stone for us, mm -hmm. and you know we're on the up. Like we'll get them next year. It's like no, I understand how hard it is to get here. Bro. Like this was our chance, bro. Because you, you don't he was know like, it's gonna be, it's gonna be two times as hard to get back here next yeah, year. Because now you still got to deal with okay, who's staying, who's going. Now we got to still try to catch some of that lightning in the bottle when you talk about one score games or just the ball bouncing in the right way at times, man. So that's what we always say. You can't take any of it for granted. But yeah, man, it just sucks. And that's why it's also so awesome at times to see some of these teams that get to go multiple times in a row. It's not a lot of Kansas City Chief teams out there. It's not a lot of San Francisco teams out there. Think about what the Steelers were doing during our times when we had some of those runs. It's like it's not a lot of teams that go to multiples. Patriots going to multiples. It's a lot of teams that might go to – man, they said Detroit, think about first time and da -da -da. hey, for this team, first time. And it's like, yo, that's – different that was baltimore's first time ever hosting an afc championship game man we i was over here surprised like is that for real that's a real stat like for yeah, real they had to go on the road a lot yeah because you always you've seen them playing them but it's like yo they've never hosted before it's something we take that for granted like yo what you mean host man everybody didn't host before so yeah man but that's how it is man that is how it is but definitely like the fact that no Baltimore Super Bowl, so we'll need to add to them. So that's a positive. Yeah. yeah. We'll take take some positive with that. Now we're going to get... The script didn't come through. Yeah. We, 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 we should have known, bro. The script got hijacked. It was the Taylor Swift movement, man. I'm trying to tell you, bro. 